speaks for itself really. I'm not going to temp fate and take it up to full speed or anything like that. That's the driver board. That's the controller, which is actually mounted on it now. Obviously a lot of spaghetti around there, but it's okay. But as you can see, it is rotating. We have fixed it. Yep. Well, it's not too bad, is it? Yeah. Only running at about two amps. <coughs> there we go. So this is using a... It's a Cree board, really, but it's arranged and, and uh, added. So... Configuration. But that driver board works. So you can use a Cree board. I'll release the details of how that's wired up. This is a DC-DC. Uh, 12 volts in, 15 out. Which is coming from a 12 volt input, which is down there. See? <coughs> which is shared with the uh, driver board. So this is how it'll actually work. I need to tidy the wires up, get those boards further in. But basically, yes, that works. There's also, uh, there is a slight disparity between the, the phases because the new board that I put on, I guessed the timing and I, get, I overdid it. So it actually turns on a little bit later than the other phases. The other ones run around about a microsecond, 1.1, whereas I put a bit longer on the, uh, on the Cree board, I tuned it which is tuned the these <coughs> these circuits here turn a single ended output into two um, into two outputs high and low so drive high it turns on the high side higher drive low it turns on the low side high and the high side off and what it is is because I'm using bipolar transistors in here I can set like a, a bit of a hysteresis if you like because I'm using uh, logic chips output to, bo to boost the output so as to turn it into logic and so this allows me to sort of tune a dead zone and I've tuned it a little bit high at about 1.2 microseconds so I just need to down tune it so all three phases are switching at the same time so we don't have a, a disparate uh, disparity between them but basically yes it's working that is a replacement board for the original uh, Tesla Okay, so if anybody wants this, I can release the details, they can make it themselves. If you want to pay me to make it, I can do. Uh, but, you know, it's no guarantees for that. And you have to obviously be able to remove it. You have to remove this, which basically means cutting it away. And then adding in um, wiring so that you can, you can insert it. <coughs> so, uh, but I will release the details so that if you do have a, a unit which has a blown driver board, this, this is a replacement for it. You see, and it's got the same, uh, uh, I think it's Ixis chips. Can't remember, no, the Infineon chips. Those two chips there are the same as these two chips here, which provide the signalling, which comes out basically through this JST socket. So they provide the signalling back through this Molex. So all you need to do is convert it so that you can actually connect it up to what the original, Mo uh, original JST did. And then it, it, the, from the driver side of things, uh, sorry from the logic board side of things it won't even know it's the same board you see you could even transplant that in and use the original controller and it would work but we got it working there we go ha <laughs>